As the former governor of California, I've had the opportunity to work on many important issues over the years. My name is George Duke Majan, and I'd like to take this opportunity to briefly speak to you about two resolutions pending in Congress that are very important to me and millions of Americans. Senate Resolution 106 and House Resolution 106 regarding the Armenian Genocide. Specifically, Senate Resolution 106 and House Resolution 106 call upon the President to ensure that United States foreign policy reflects appropriate understanding and sensitivity concerning issues related to human rights, ethnic cleansing, and genocide documented in the United States record relating to the Armenian Genocide. And secondly, in the President's annual message commemorating the Armenian Genocide, to characterize the systematic and deliberate annihilation of one and a half million Armenians as genocide. As we look at the events that continue to unfold today in Darfur, I am reminded of the history that touches me personally. My parents and my wife's parents and their families had to leave their homeland because of the first genocide in the 20th century. From 1915 to 1923, the Ottoman Turkish government attempted to exterminate the Armenian population. This is a fact verified in the United States National Archives and what United States Ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, Henry Morgenthau, called a campaign of race extermination. There were 2.1 million Armenians living in the Ottoman Empire following the Armenian Genocide Fewer than 100,000 declared Armenians remained in Turkey. It was not until 1944 when Raphael Lemkin, a Holocaust survivor and professor at Yale University Law School, coined the term genocide. In defining the term, he described what happened to the Armenians and Jews as prototypes of the crimes of genocide. 126 Holocaust scholars publicly reaffirmed the Armenian Genocide as an incontestable fact. They stated that the mass murder of Armenians in Turkey in 1915 is a case of genocide which conforms to the statutes of the United Nations Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of Genocide. The International Center of Transitional Justice concluded that the 1915 events viewed collectively can thus be said to include all of the elements of the crime of genocide as defined in the UN Genocide Convention. And legal scholars, as well as historians, politicians, journalists, and other people would be justified in continuing to so describe them. Sadly, since the Armenian Genocide, the world has seen other such atrocities, like the Jewish Holocaust and genocides in Bosnia, Rwanda, Cambodia, and currently in Darfur. Worldwide condemnation of these genocides is almost unanimous, and taking steps to ensure that future genocides do not occur is the responsibility of every civilized nation. The first step in this process is always to recognize state-sponsored genocide when it occurs, and to acknowledge those that have happened in the past. However, the current government of Turkey inexplicably refuses to acknowledge that an Armenian genocide occurred. Turkey has made it a crime to speak of the Armenian genocide and has even threatened and prosecuted reporters and authors who have written about the Armenian genocide. In the United States, resolutions, proclamations, other official statements recognizing the Armenian genocide and commemorating its victims have been adopted by 41 states. On April 21, 1981, President Ronald Reagan issued a proclamation 4838 which states, and I quote, like the genocide of the Armenians before it and the genocide of the Cambodians which followed it and like too many other such persecutions of too many other peoples, the lessons of the Holocaust must never be forgotten, end of quote. The Armenian Genocide and its consequences are real, and I commend those in Congress who are standing for the truth in the face of denial. Thank you for your part in honoring the one and a half million people who perished in the Armenian Genocide and your efforts to prevent such horrific acts 
from happening again throughout the world by supporting Senate Resolution 106 and House Resolution 106.